Welcome back to the Boy in a Scanner channel. I bet you didn't know how crucial radio espionage was during World War II, a global conflict where traditional battlefields were only one part of the story. Invisible, yet crucial, another battle raged, the War of Information. At the heart of this silent struggle was radio espionage, a clandestine world of spies, codes, and covert transmissions. Radio became a lifeline. It allowed spies, deep within enemy territory, to relay vital intelligence. These messages, often sent under the cover of darkness, could change the course of battles and even alter the fate of nations. The stakes were incredibly high. From the beaches of Normandy to the jungles of the Pacific, radio operators played a crucial role. They were the unseen heroes, the whisperers of secrets, whose courage and sacrifice often went unrecognized. Their stories offer a glimpse into a world of shadows and danger, where every transmission could mean the difference between victory and defeat. The origins of radio espionage can be traced back to the early days of radio itself. With the invention of wireless communication, the potential for using radio waves for espionage became readily apparent. Militaries quickly realized the value of intercepting enemy messages. During World War I, rudimentary radio interception techniques emerged. Both sides attempted to intercept and decipher each other's communications, gaining valuable insights into troop movements and strategies. Simple codes and ciphers were used to protect sensitive information. However, the true potential of radio espionage wouldn't be fully realized until World War II. The rapid technological advancements in radio technology during the interwar years, particularly the development of more portable and powerful transmitters, opened up new possibilities for clandestine communication. As the world braced itself for another global conflict, radio espionage evolved from a rudimentary practice to a sophisticated art form. This evolution, driven by necessity and fueled by innovation, would forever change the landscape of warfare. Radio espionage in World War II was a high-stakes game of cat and mouse, where every transmission could mean the difference between victory and defeat. Success depended on two critical factors, transmitting information without detection and deciphering enemy messages with precision and speed. Both sides developed sophisticated tools and techniques in this invisible battle, constantly evolving to outsmart each other. Spies relied on portable radio sets, often cleverly disguised as everyday objects to avoid suspicion. These clandestine transmitters, small enough to be hidden in a suitcase or even a book, allowed agents to send crucial messages back to their handlers without drawing attention. The development of more powerful and compact batteries was crucial, as it allowed for longer transmissions and significantly reduced the risk of detection by enemy forces. To protect their messages, spies employed complex codes and ciphers, making it extremely difficult for the enemy to intercept and understand their communications. Messages were often transmitted in Morse code, a series of dots and dashes representing letters and numbers, which required skill and precision to both send and receive. The Enigma machine, used by the Germans, presented a particularly daunting challenge with its ability to generate incredibly complex codes that seemed unbreakable. Radio Direction Finding, or RDF, became a key tool for both sides, enabling them to track down the source of enemy transmissions. By using multiple receiving stations to triangulate the source of a radio signal, intelligence agencies could locate enemy transmitters and potentially uncover entire spy networks, turning the tide of the war. This constant back and forth between codemakers and codebreakers, between those hiding and those seeking, made radio espionage one of the most intellectually stimulating and strategically vital aspects of the war, shaping the outcome of many critical battles. The success of radio espionage rested on the courage and skill of countless individuals who risked their lives to transmit vital information across enemy lines. These were not soldiers on the front lines, but rather ordinary men and women operating in the shadows, their bravery often going unrecognized by the public and even their own families. Many radio operators were recruited from civilian life, plucked from their everyday routines to serve a higher purpose. Women, in particular, played a crucial role, their ability to blend in and their language skills proving invaluable in enemy territories. These individuals underwent rigorous training, learning Morse code, radio operation, and, crucially, how to maintain their cover under intense pressure and scrutiny. Once deployed behind enemy lines, they faced constant danger, always aware that a single mistake could be fatal. Discovery meant capture, torture, and almost certain death, a fate that many brave souls met. 
They lived double lives, posing as ordinary citizens while secretly transmitting information that could turn the tide of the war. Their transmissions, often sent from attics or basements under the cover of darkness, could provide crucial intelligence on enemy troop movements, defenses, and plans, information that was vital for strategic decisions. Despite the risks, these individuals performed their duties with unwavering courage and dedication, driven by a sense of duty and patriotism. They understood the importance of their mission, knowing that their efforts could save countless lives and bring the war to a swifter end. They were the silent guardians, the unseen heroes whose contribution to the Allied victory was immeasurable and whose legacy continues to inspire. The annals of radio espionage are filled with tales of daring operations and remarkable feats of code breaking, showcasing the ingenuity and bravery of those involved. One of the most famous examples is the Allied effort to break the Enigma code used by the German military, a task that seemed insurmountable at the time. This complex cipher, considered unbreakable by the Germans, was responsible for protecting highly sensitive communications, including strategic military plans. At Bletchley Park, a top secret facility in England, a brilliant team of mathematicians, linguists, and cryptographers worked tirelessly to crack the Enigma code, often under immense pressure. Using a combination of mathematical deduction, linguistic analysis, and early computing techniques, they were eventually able to decipher the German messages, a breakthrough that changed the course of the war. The intelligence gleaned from these decrypted messages, codenamed Ultra, proved to be invaluable to the Allied war effort, providing critical information that was previously inaccessible. It provided insights into German troop movements, battle plans, and even the location of U-boats in the Atlantic, allowing the Allies to anticipate and counter enemy actions effectively. The breaking of the Enigma Code is considered one of the major turning points of the war, significantly shortening the conflict and saving countless lives in the process. While Enigma stands as a testament to the power of code breaking, numerous other radio espionage operations played crucial roles in the Allied victory. From intercepting Japanese naval codes in the Pacific to uncovering German spy rings operating in Britain, radio espionage proved to be a decisive factor on multiple fronts, demonstrating the far-reaching impact of these covert operations. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and support us by visiting shop.boyandascanner.com. For updates and more content, check out boyandascanner.com. Thank you for watching.